Beloved in Christ, the world and our society throughout the world has normalized strongholds and sin. And beloved in Christ, even the church itself has become fearful of even speaking on such things as strongholds because of fear and beloved in Christ. Our God wants us free. He wants us delivered from any stronghold of that is out there. We know Hollywood has normalized lying, uh, 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 envy, uh, sexual promiscuity. It has been normalized. And even now, beloved, sad to say that it has been normalized also in uh, the church. Because we speak of certain sins or certain strongholds that will not disturb the people. But some of them, beloved, we will not touch, we will not look at, because we are afraid of the repercussions. But we need to recognize what is the abnormality of that God speaks about and not be allow it to be normalized in our lives. Look what the Word of God tells us in Romans 12 about normalizing uh, sin in our lives or that we should not. He, he writes, Paul writes in the 12th chapter of Romans, he said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Not a sacrifice, but something that is reasonable and that is expected out of you and I as born-again believers. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by having our minds renewed that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Our desire in our life, beloved, is led by the will of God. Because the Spirit of God leads us when we allow Him to. And if we allow Him to, He will lead us away or allow us to acknowledge what is not the will of God. And beloved in Christ, strongholds controlling our life is not the will of God. Does stronghold control many believers' life? Absolutely. But it ought not to. So, beloved, we ought not find this acceptable at all. That's why we know that it is a constant process and a constant battle in order to remain free. It's simple to shake the devil off. But, beloved, it is not simple to keep him off. Jesus shook him off in his desert experience. But the Word of God says that Satan left him, that he could tempt him later. So, beloved in Christ, know that it is a process of living to be constantly delivered from the strongholds that the enemy has for us in this life. And may the Father, beloved, open your heart to his understanding in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ.